Hello guys, thank you for being with us for so long time on our channel, thank you for watching all our videos and I'm glad to say today is gonna be another one. Uh, today I will explain you how to connect uh, your PlayStation 4 uh, to your PC monitor at the same time. Uh, your PC will stay connected as well, so you just will be able to switch between the screens from PC to PlayStation on or other way back. Yeah, uh, it's split stream and once again, before we start, I just want to um, show you how actually both consoles connected to TV, which is a, such a simple thing. So now, we, what we have now, we have PlayStation here on board, on the screen, yeah? So with TV is such an easy, then your remote control, you have source button, just press, by pressing this button, you go into the screen where you can choose um, inputs, so you just choose another one, and there you go. You're now on Xbox One, so there is like, hello to... A Hello Wars 2 game uh, in front of you. So on TV, as you can see, it's very easy. If you have both consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, it's such a simple thing to switch between the screens so both your devices are connected to one TV. And now I will show you how to connect your PlayStation 4, which is on your right on the screen, uh, to PC monitor. It's gonna be a bit different this way uh, now, but uh, uh, we're gonna do that. By the way, while we're still here, I just want to show you some aerography I've done on uh, body on of my Xbox One. Yeah, I hope you like it. It's I just found it like very very cool. Yeah, it was white. And now it's just looks a bit better than it was. Yeah, there you go. We move in next. Right, fine. That's our PC. So we're gonna use it for our video. So that's PC already connected to PC monitor as you can see it uh, with DVI cable. Yeah, so no HDMI, it's just DVI cable. So I need to remind this monitor has got integrated speakers into it. Yeah, it's not TV, it's monitor just with integrated speakers. And also um, input of HDMI and DVI at the same time. So basically you can connect two devices at the same time to this monitor. So Xbox, no Xbox, uh, PC is already connected as you can see and the Battlefield 1 game is on the screen. Uh, so that's PlayStation 4 which we're gonna connect now. Some dirt on it. So I need to remind, so PlayStation 4 has got actually HDMI cable, yeah? So that and HDMI and also is connected to PlayStation itself and just power cable. That's all we need to, to, to connect our PlayStation 4 to PC monitor. Just I will explain now how to do that. So right, what I've done here, that HDMI cable from the back of PlayStation, you can see it, I connected directly to the back of monitor. Uh, it's quite dark, that's that's better. Yeah, so that's PC cable DVI, that's HDMI, so monitor has got two input ports to connect two devices at the same time. Yeah, so that's PC, that's PlayStation. And we will try now to start PlayStation and PC at the same time on one monitor and try to switch between the screens and see how it's gonna work for us. So I will just turn on PlayStation to the power. Right, when everything is connected, I, let me just adjust the uh, screen, there you go. So, at the moment, uh, PlayStation and PC connected to the same monitor, so this is Battlefield game, guys, so Xbox 360, 360, sorry, controller, so I just will show you, yeah, so... can play Battlefield, actually, on my PC, but that's Battlefield 1, great games, yeah, but in case of I need to do the break to play in this game or anything else going on, I just press the pause. On monitor I will press the button which is just source uh, change actually the, the signal change from one port from DVI to HDMI yeah so that's the button DVI you can see as PC HDMI there you go what happening now black screen and that's it PlayStation screen so you can hear the noise as well so integrated speakers of monitor, yeah, they're doing all the job, so you can at the same time now play on your PlayStation on the same monitor, so you don't need to switch off, turn off one or other device, so both devices can be connected at the same time to one monitor, so you can just simply switch the screen in between them and keep playing on your PlayStation 4 or on your PC. What I have here is Watch Dogs, so just 
start the game. Yeah, there you go, Watch Dogs 2, the three, uh, three hours Ubisoft given to us to try this game before the purchase. So, as you can hear, all the sound goes from the speakers, so there is no need of any external speakers to be connected to monitor. Unless your monitor has got no integrated speakers into it, yeah, but mine has, so I have no problem with that. I think that's it, I think we're gonna quit just, by the way, while all this um, starting. I will once again to switch back to PC screen, just to show to you guys how easy it can be done. While here is logging the game, uh, l l let's wait for a while actually, yeah, let's see. Um, Let's give some time. Ubisoft benefits, yes, no, whatever, no. Yeah, so we in the game, we can continue. There is premium content, it, content, it doesn't matter. So, if I want to play Battlefield straight away now, so I'm doing, I'm pressing just a few buttons, switch to DVI port. Take the controller, and I carry on, can carry on playing my lovely Battlefield 1 game on my PC yeah so I hope this video will help you to understand just like you can have only one PC monitor and play your PlayStation on it either Xbox One which we have another video it will be in a link yeah you can also connect Xbox 360 or Xbox One to at the same time with your PC to your PC monitor and carry out playing carry on playing on it so Probably this video will be helpful for those people who's got no TV at home and just PC monitor, so they will find that it's actually quite easy to connect your system to to monitor. You don't need to have TV or projector or anything else. So and thank you very much for watching. Now I will quit uh, with this video today, and uh, please subscribe on our channel. Put like, ask the questions in the comments. Yeah, I will um, try to find time to answer them all. And uh, very, very soon we, you will see more videos on our channel. We had a break for a while, but we're gonna carry on now. It's Split Stream. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.